Business is now the largest institution on our planet, and collective corporate compassion has the power to wipe out poverty. Kia ora, I'm Donna, and I'm very privileged to be here. My journey to you uh, started about nine years ago when my life fell apart with uh, pretty impressive precision. Uh, my kids flew the coop, my 25-year marriage broke up, I had ovarian cancer, the Christchurch earthquakes devastated my city, uh, my best friend died of breast cancer, I was homeless and I needed a new job. <laughs> Didn't really know what to do with myself, so I gave away everything I owned and I headed to London to recreate myself. I had to envision a new life for myself, and I believe it's, it's our collective a responsibility to envision a world without poverty. I've worked as an accountant for more than 30 years in Australia, New Zealand and the UK, and this has allowed me to peek under the hood of dozens and dozens of businesses across multiple industries. I've seen uh, dead resources, lost productivity, uh, gaping great black holes called branding and advertising, and not to mention <laughs> goods going to the dump because it's cheaper than giving them away. From a vision of a world without poverty, we've created Webfair. Webfair is an interactive online platform engaging and connecting corporates, consumers and charities. So corporates give product and they get connection and branding. Consumers get the product and give cash and connection. Charities get the cash and give connection. Consider purchasing, say, a new cell phone on Webfair. How do you feel knowing that your money might help to um, provide clean water for a village or neuter cats? It's a sad truth <clears throat> that in our traditional model of giving, charity is something we turn to when all of our needs are met. We've made a point of elevating charities to an equal position with corporates and consumers. Imagine for a moment the impact that could be made in the world if the teeniest, tiniest slice <coughs> of advertising budgets made their way through to charities. Feedback from our Christchurch Minimum Viable product told us that people felt they were part of something bigger than themselves. They might not have had cash in their pockets to give to charities direct, but they knew that buying on our site was giving to charity and that made them feel great. We sold 2,000, <coughs> sorry, we sold 2,700 items. We raised 24,000 for community, which is an average of just under $9 an item. And people gave on average three items at, at a time. So consider in New Zealand, if we had 250,000 people giving two items twice a year, that's a million items at an average of $10, $10 million, um, coming through to the community. Now consider what that could look like in a country like India. The, web <coughs> the Webfair platform differs from other auction platforms in that every product has a multifaceted connection to a business, to a person and to a charity. And we have imbued corporate compassion throughout the entire site. We have a steering committee in place in, um, to launch in India late this year or early next year. We have a great team of passionate people and our first round of fund funding has given us enough money to complete our Webfair 2.0. And we're very grateful to a Christchurch uh, fund for that. I'm a mum and a grandmum first. They call me Grammy. I don't know how to build a global business, but I'm going to show up every day. And I do know that Webfair can help transition us from our current greedy economic environment to a just and social uh, economy. If you can help me, please come and talk to me. And in closing, <clears throat> I'd like you to consider a country that you love and then consider how a collective corporate compassion could help that country. Thank you.